Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onan de Guzman, and our topic for today is illustrating and solving permutation for grade 10, quarter 3. Whenever you say permutation, it is an arrangement of objects where order is important. With this permutation, we will use the principle or fundamental counting principle. It states that if there are A ways to do one thing, B ways to do another, and C ways to do another, then there are A times B times C ways of doing those things. So there are three types of permutation that we will discuss. The first thing here is the linear permutation. So whenever we talk about the linear permutation, it is a permutation of objects in a row or a line. So to give you an example, let's consider this word problem. How many ways can we arrange the following letter or letters? So number one, we have A. Number two is AB. Number three is ABC. Number four is ABCD. Number five is ABCDE. And number six, ABCDE and F. So if we will consider this, we will construct a table. So we have here a set or number of objects. Then we have the number of permutations. So we will use the multiplication rule. Okay, so or the fundamental counting principle. Then we have the factorial version. So for one object, that is letter A. So it means we have only one permutation and the version is one factorial. Next, if we have two objects, namely A and B, so we have two, okay, okay, in one choice, we have two choices here, but in the second letter, we have only one arrangement. So we have two times one, so we have two factorial. If we have three objects, meaning to say for the first choice, we have three, okay, uh, options, then we have second options, 2, then we have 1. So we have 3 times 2 times 1 that is equal to 3 factorial. So if we will notice here for number 4, we have 4 options or 4 objects. So we have in the first letter, we have 4 options. Second, we have 3 options. For C, we have only 2 options. Then we have 1 options for D. So we can express this one as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So that is 4 factorial. Until we reach here, okay, if you will observe, if we have n number of objects, so that is we will multiply n times this is actually decreasing. So we have n minus 1 times n minus 2 until 3 times 2 times 1. Or for our factorial, we observe here we have 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial, and so on. So therefore, if we have n object, that means that is actually n factorial. So, we can have the number of permutations of n object taken all at a time denoted by, okay, so n, okay, objects taken, taken n at a time or p, okay, so that is permutation of a number taken at all time. So, this is equal to n factorial. So, if we say n factorial symbol, so it's the product of all positive in integers from n down to 1. To give you a concrete example, if we have six objects, we have, okay, so the product of all positive integers from n, so that is six times until one. So we have six times five times four times three times two times one. A part of linear permutation is the permutation of n objects taken r at a time. So let's consider this per first problem. How many ways can we arrange the letters A, B, C, D, and E if we will select three letters? So, if we will apply the fundamental counting principle, since we have, okay, five letters and we will take that three at a time. So, it means to say that we have actually, we will multiply the first option, second option, and third option. So take note, in the first options we have actually, or the first number, we have five options. So meaning to say we can take all these numbers at a time. However, on the second number, we will have only four options. And on the last number, we have only three options. So if we will get the product of this, this is equal to 60. 
So therefore, there are 60 ways. To derive the formula for the permutation of n objects taken r at a time. So let's consider the problem a while ago. So we have 5 times 4 times 3 is equal to 60. So if we will write the permutation, so we have here a while ago, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all over 2 times 1. So the reason is we have actually multiplicative identity. So multiplying 2 times 1 on both numerator and denominator will not affect the product. Next, we have, okay, we can express 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 as actually 5 factorial and 2 times 1 is 2 factorial. So the reason is we can rewrite this one as factorial notation. Also, take note that, okay, the 2 factorial is actually derived from 5 minus 3. So we have 5 minus 3 that is the same as 2 factorial. So the reason is we rewrite 2 factorial as 5 minus 3, then get the factorial. So therefore, the number of permutation of 5 objects taken uh, takes 3 at a time, denoted by okay, 5p3 or P pi 3 is equal to 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 factorial. To summarize the process a while ago of permutation of n objects taken r at a time, so the permutation of n objects taken r at a time denoted by npr or pnr where order is important is okay, npr is equal to n factorial all over n minus r factorial. Let's consider this problem number two. How many different four-letter words can be formed from the word care? So take note that there are four letters to arrange at all times. So meaning to say, okay, these letters are distinct. Meaning to say we don't repeat letters. So we can apply that P of N at N is equal to N factorial since we can take them all at once. So we have four of four. So four objects, okay, at a time. So we have 4 factorial, substitute, if we say 4 factorial, it means that 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So we can say that there are 24 ways. So therefore, there are 24 different, okay, 4 letter words formed from the word care. In the previous example, we take all objects at the same time. In number 3, so let's consider this. So Jacob has seven candles, each of different color. How many ways can he arrange the candles in a candle holder that holds three candles? So take note that the total number of candles is seven and we will only take three at a time. So that is your R. So we will use the formula of NPR is equal to N factorial all over N minus R, R factorial. Then we can simply substitute. So we have 7 factorial all over 7 minus 3 factorial. So we have here 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. And I can factor out 4 factorial and 4 factorial. So I can factor this one out. So I have now only 7 times 6 times 5 is equal to 210. So therefore, there are 210 ways. So let's move on to distinguishable permutation. So the number of distinguishable permutation P of N objects where P objects are alike, Q objects al alike, R objects are alike, and so on is permutation is equal to N factorial all over P factorial, Q factorial, R factorial, and so on and so forth. To give example and distinguishable permutation, so let's consider problem number four. So the letters in the word statistics can be arranged in how many ways? So take note that the word statistics composed of 11 letters, where the letter S is repeated three times, letter T is repeated three times, and letter I is repeated two times. So we can use this formula. Permutation is equal to n factorial all over p factorial, q factorial, r factorial, and so on. So such that, okay, p is equal to 3, okay, uh, q is equal to 3, 
and r is equal to 2. So, if we will solve it further, so we have, okay, p is equal to 11 times 10 times 9 until 1. Then we have here 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. So, if we will uh, solve this one further, so we have p is equal to 39,916,800 divided by 72, or this is the same as 554,400. So, therefore, there are 554,400 ways. So, let's move on to the third type of permutation in our lesson. So, we have circular permutation. So, in general, the number of circular permutation, permutation of circle of an object is, okay, permutation of circle is equal to n minus 1 factor. So, to understand this, let's consider this problem number 5. So, find the number of different ways of a family with 6 members can be seated around a circular table with 6 chairs. So, since n is equal to 6, so that is the number of members. So, we can sub substitute this in the formula of P or permutation of circle is equal to n minus 1. So, again, n is equal to 6. So, we have 6 minus 1 factorial. So, this is equal to 5 factorial. But we can expand, expand 5 factorial as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Or this is equal to 120. So, therefore, we can say that there are 120 ways. So, that ends our lesson on permutations. So, again, this is Teacher Onan de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.